queen of the stitch, my girl Dane the Dane. Hello there, my crafty knitters. Welcome back to the Knitted Oaks channel. Today I have before you a small swatch of the Moss Stitch. This is another requested tutorial. Um, and this is just edition one. I'm actually going to do two versions of the Moss Stitch. Um, and I found it in two different stitchinaries. This version, which is just to knit the knit, knit the, the purl stitches and purl the knit stitches. And then there's a second edition where there's more knit rows involved between the cross of the knits and the purls. I'll explain everything shortly. So basically, upon doing the moss stitch, because I've never actually done it before, but apparently I have, but it's called the seed stitch. And I have a tutorial on the seed stitch. Um, I did it, I think, two or three years ago. Um, you can look for it in my uh, uh, list of videos. Or on my blog, I have it um, categorized under stitchinary. Um, so there is where you'll find it. But when I was doing this version of the moss stitch, I realized it is the same as the seed stitch. And this will be a much clearer video just in case the seed stitch is not as clear in my previous videos. Because I had an older camera then. So, the tutorial. Basically what you want to do is make sure that you're working on an even amount of stitches plus one for the moss stitch. So even, enough, uh, even multiple of stitches would be like two, four, six, eight and so forth plus one so I decided to do a multiple of two so I did 16 plus one that's all you need for the moss stitch to get a nice even finish and neater work you want to have an edge and a lot of folks have been um, asking what do I mean by that basically just means to knit every first and last um, st stitch on every row so that brought me to 18 stitches. So I cast it on 18 stitches. The moss stitch is just within the 17, just within the 17 stitches, yes. And then the extra stitch was for the edging. So I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate. You're gonna knit your first stitch because this is for your edge. So this is not a part of the pattern yet. Okay, pull tight. And then for your first stitch, you're just gonna knit second stitch you're going to purl. Oops. And you're just going to repeat that all the way to the last stitch. Okay, and for your last stitch, you're just going to knit that. Okay, so then you turn it around. As you can see, the moss stitch is reversible. This is a beautiful pattern. It, it's like raised stitches. So it's the same on the opposite side as well. Okay, so now for the second row, you're just going to alternate what you did on the first row. So again, we're going to knit our first stitch because that's for our edge to give us a nice finish, neat look. And here I have a knit stitch. You see the V. So you're going to purl that. So you're just going to purl your knit stitches. And here we have a purl row. You're going to knit that purl row. So you do the opposite of what you did on round one on round two. And that's the moss stitch in a nutshell. That's the basic knot moss stitch. Now I was looking through the knitting, uh, the 400 stitch knitting book that um, will be given away and uh, they have so many variations of the moss stitch in there. Things that you could do with the moss stitch I should say such as ribbing and um, basket weaving like it's amazing. I didn't no, you can do so many different things, but it's pretty neat. So again, you're just going to repeat this to the end of your row and just knit that last stitch to complete your edge. Okay, so we're down to our last stitch. You're just going to knit that. And that's how you get your nice finished edge here. 
So this is version one. Okay guys, so we're back with round two of the moss stitch tutorial here. This is a second version that I found in another stitchinary I have that's different from the original that I just showed you. So this one is the moss stitch, but it's not reversible. It's very different on the opposite side. And it's a little different in that there are knit stitches involved between the alternate stitches. So you're still knitting the purls and purling the stitches every other row, but you're adding knit stitches in between. So you'll see that there's two V's in separate pockets. So it's kind of like a checkerboard moss stitch between the moss stitch and the knit stitches. So this one is okay. also done on multiples of two plus one stitch. So I went ahead and did um, 16 stitches my extra was the 17 and instead of adding one I added two extra stitches for the even edges um, for the knitted edges so I have a, um, a cast on of 19 stitches with this one okay um, so let's begin the first row is all knit Okay, so the second row, the second row is where the magic of the moss stitch starts to form. So I'm going to go ahead and knit my first row, my first stitch, sorry, um, because that's for my edge. And then the pattern calls that you purl one, this is for row two, you purl one, and then you begin the alternate stitches. So you're going to knit one purl one and you're just going to do this to the end till you get to your last stitch and you're going to knit that last stitch to do your edging okay and then you're back to your last stitch again you just knit that as always because that's part of your edging okay the third row is knit across so you're just going to knit every stitch again for as you did for row one you do for row three so row one and three of this version of the moss stitch is to knit so let's see you back at the end of this row so that we can do the final row of the pattern okay guys so this is the final row of the pattern all right so again you knit your first stitch because this is your extra stitch at the beginning of the row so that's for your edging and then the pattern calls that you knit one first and then you purl one this is where the alternation begins so you're gonna purl those knit stitches knit the purl stitches although they're far away you're just gonna basically purl one knit one till you get to the end of the row to your last stitch and then you're gonna go ahead and knit that last stitch again to complete your edging and the pattern okay guys so here you have it this is version 2 so as you can see it's like every other it's kinda like a checkered board this actually might not be too bad for a nice simple scarf for the holidays or a washcloth you can knit this up a little wider and taller and do a nice square washcloth So here are the swatches side by side. Uh, version 1 is on the left, version 2 is on the right. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I pray that it was helpful and I want to thank you all so much for watching. Stay tuned for pictures at the end. Stay blessed and remember knitting well, let is you sexy. Pick your color, let Bye. you pick your style and her low low prices make it worth your while. So hit up the web that stock up your pile so you can keep your body warm and such a day with a smile.